Okay, so let me show you the problem. Is this really a problem? Maybe. I always like being a guinea pig, you know? It's fun. <laughs> Welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt, and uh, today it is another rainy, wet day. But we got to do some work on the Mustang. Again, uh, I have a new problem, and I'll show you what the problem is right here. That's right, the speedometer's not working, so is it really a problem? Well, I mean, I guess if I got pulled over, I could say, I don't know how fast I was going, officer, but uh, it is something I like to fix, and I've actually tried to fix this several times. Uh, the speedometer cable is what keeps breaking. You may have seen that from the last video. Um, we, Scott and I looked at it, we replaced this speedometer cable like three times already, and it's just not working. So, I've got a new plan to uh, fix it instead, and I think you guys are gonna like it. I think this is gonna add a lot more to the car. It's gonna be a lot more fun. So uh, let's hit the road. I'll show you what I got in mind, but uh, let me give you a cold start first. I haven't done one of those in a while. America. Okay, so we're back at Extreme Mustangs. Uh, Scott's gonna be the one to put this part in. Let's see if he's here. I'm not sure if he is. I think I might just have Cliff here right now. Hey, Cliff, you here? Yeah. Okay, it's Matt. Oh, is Scott here too? Okay. Is this out of a GT500 or 4.6? This one. Convertible, yeah. Oh. 4.6. Nice. Yeah, he said he's putting this one back to stock. Yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try to get him to, to sell me that coupe over there, I think, at some point. <laughs> Which one? That one. I know he wants a lot of money for it, though. <laughs> yeah, that'll take a little bit. I'm gonna work on him. <laughs> there he is. Oh, hey, Scott. Yeah. So you had that modular motor out. Yeah. 4.6. Yep. Cool. Two the two valve terror. Yeah. <laughs> this is my stuff? That's your stuff. Sweet. All right. Put your guesses down below what you think this is. You gotta watch this. Bam. <laughs> there you go. Oh no, it's peanuts. <laughs> Hey, these are good peanuts. You only charge me what? A penny per peanut, right? <laughs> oh, man. Usually I just pick up the box and I dump, dump the box. Dump it? Alright. It's a lot easier that way. You gotta see how the professionals do it. Don't dump the parts in with it. <laughs> oh, no. It's lightweight, man. Yeah. It should be. You feeling alright, man? Sound a little down. Yeah. The weather? Yeah. Got a SEMA cold. Oh. It's the control pack, right? Oh, that's cool. This is the good stuff. Alright. Is there? Oh. Yeah, I'll let you deal with this part. <laughs> RJ45. Speedometer and fuel level must be calibrated. See manual for details. All right. The only good thing about my car right now is if I get pulled over, I can say, oh, my speedometer's broke. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. That is, that is nice. 
160. You ever see one of these, Cliff? Yeah. Dakota Digital. Or it just has like a RJ, yeah. <laughs> just a single plug in the back. <laughs> you guys are gonna have fun figuring this out. But this is gonna look, this is gonna look good. Yeah, man, for sure. I like the, you know, the white facing there mm -hmm. on the black. Yeah, I think we went with the right one. Yeah, right? It's pretty cool. Yeah. So this is a Dakota Digital uh, instrument cluster for those of you who don't know. And uh, yeah, so this should fix the speedometer problem, right? We get rid of the oh, mechanical yeah. and yeah. It's all electric. All electric, cool. Works off the speed sensor. I'll give it back to you, let you yeah, I'll pack it with that yeah, put everything back up. and. But uh, it's just crazy how uh, it just has one plug in the back, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks awesome. And this is the this is the first one you've done of these, right? Yeah, this will be the first one. Cool. I always like being a guinea pig, you know. It's fun. <laughs> I'm groundbreaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the different parts we plug into the sending units. Mm -hmm. We have one for fuel. Is there a fuel sending unit? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I see that. Fuel send, oil, water. What's ADJ? ADJ. Mm -hmm. Adjustable send. Adjust. Okay, maybe extra. Maybe that's for like if you had a what a uh, turbo or something ring. for boost. I don't know. So check engine light, brake. So all those lights should still work. Even yeah. four times. Even four by four. Hey, can you put a four by four mode on there for? <laughs> I guess they have them for more than Mustangs. And then yeah, so this is your. Oh, this comes from this cable. We'll plug into this. I'm guessing, and that'll go into the back of the unit because I saw those RJ45. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and there's um, one, two, three ports here. Yeah. That's your display cable, that's what that is. Okay. And then we will have to, this will come from the sensors. Mm-hmm. And go to this. So this has its own wiring for each sensor. Okay. And each pigtail for each sensor here. Cool. So we don't have to reuse the factory ones. There's no, uh, there's no way we still no, have the mechanicals put, plugged in, right? These, It'll mess up these, the signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these are designed for the cluster. So okay. Got to use these sending units. All right. Got to use them. So. Well, let's, yeah, we'll just pull the old gauges out and um, yeah. maybe I'll sell them or something. Right. I don't know. Speedo out, speed sensor. So. Speed out, negative, positive, and the speed sensor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just tired of messing with that speedometer cable, you know? I oh, just yeah, wanna. Oh, no, dude. So, this would be like a nice upgrade. Oh, this is GPS ready, too. Huh. So, I could. That's interesting. So, this actually has GPS built into it. So, if there's any problems along the way, uh, Scott will let me know what they are and I can share them with you guys if there's any gotchas. But, I mean, a lot of people have used this kit. So I don't think there's gonna be really anything too major. Most people use them on coyotes, uh, coyote swaps. So yeah, I'm gonna have a Dakota, Dakota Digital Instrument Cluster. Um, if anybody needs a hundred, the old 89, 140 speedometer instrument cluster, let me know. Maybe I'll give you a good price on it. Hey guys, so we're back in the garage. It's already dark. As you can see, there's no car here where there normally is. Uh, these spots on the ground are my wife actually pulled my beater car, the Jetta. The Jetta's my beater. Um, she pulled that in the garage today because it was raining when she uh, came home. And I'm super pumped about the Dakota Cluster. That thing is going to be awesome. Uh, it's going to use electronic speedometer. It's all digital, but you saw what the gauges looked like. I mean, it's pretty sick. Uh, I'm excited to get rid of the old instrument cluster. And uh, yeah, it's just pretty cool. Hopefully um, this will solve most of my problems. The only downside is that the gauges that I had there, you know, used to have right under the radio. Those gauges, I just put them in like when I rebuilt the motor, I don't know, six months ago, whatever it was. Uh, may, actually, I put those in a little sooner, but not much. They've been in the car for less than a year, and uh, yeah, it's, it's frustrating. I've already had to pull them out. I can't use those mechanical gauges along with my digital gauges with the Dakota cluster. So, you know, I, I got to do something with the gauges. Not, not quite sure what, maybe I'll resell them. They looked cool, but anyway, I'm gonna get the little cubby back underneath the radio, so that'll be neat. Uh, yeah, so the Dakota Cluster is gonna be awesome. 
I do actually have a question about these spots. So when I first start the car up, get a lot of uh, black, you can see here, soot, I guess. Um, eventually when the car warms up, it goes away. It's just like when the car's starting out, you get that. Um, two questions, has anybody else seen that? I've read online and I've seen all kinds of things about that. Everybody has a different opinion. Uh, it seems normal, but if anybody knows why that occurs, it didn't happen before the recent motor rebuild uh, or before it was tuned, I guess. It, yeah, it didn't happen before the tune. And then I also wanted to know uh, if anybody had any idea how to clean it up. Uh, <laughs> I actually haven't looked this up yet, so I'll check out the internet and see what I find. But yeah, that's uh, it's pretty dirty right there. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure what's the best way to clean that. I'd like to make the garage look a little bit better. Um, what we need to do, I think, on this side is clear out these bikes or hang them up. Probably hang them up because if I clear them out, the kids might get upset. <laughs> but uh, get those out of the way. And I think we need another car over here. And uh, if you saw my last video, you saw that I put that deposit down on the GT500. If you think I should get the GT500, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I'm gonna do something where if I get so many subscribers or likes or something, I'm definitely gonna buy it. I haven't figured out the number yet, but that is coming. But uh, yes, yeah, so I just need to clear out this side here for another car. Um, I'm also looking at GT350. Not sure which way I'm gonna go. I've also talked about a Corvette, a C5 or a C6. I got a lot of possibilities to add different cars to the channel. So let me know what you would like to see. Um, I do upload twice a week. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday night. So um, if you're stopping in for the first time and you don't know that, go ahead and subscribe. And if you enjoyed what you saw on today's video, please hit the like button and we'll see you next time on Gearhead 704.